Hey, Sean here. I'm going to go over some of the questions for the gift card giveaway and announce who the winner is as well. Now, making a blog isn't really my intention with the site, but I'll make one now and again like this. Now, many of the questions are repeats of other ones, so I'm not going to answer every single one if they're the exact same thing. And I'm not going to have time to answer every single one. Here we go. Do you prefer the GANs 356 or the Yushin? Neither. How long have you been queuing for? About a year and a half. Do you think the new Yushin Fighter will replace the Guanlong? No, it's slightly more expensive and haven't heard anything amazing about it. What is your backup main? Well, I've been using the main for a long time and my backup was a main, but it might finally be replaced. I'll have that in the next video. Are you ever going to use a stickered cube? Possibly. How long did it take you to assemble first 4x4? I see what you did there. How often do you cube? Daily. What is your main 4x4? I have no idea. What was your first impression on cubing when you first introduced to it? Well, when I first tried it, I failed miserably. Then, when I picked it up a year and a half ago, I thought, well, that was easy. Which cube is this? The one in the video was a stickerless Meiying. Are you going to review the Moyu Tanglong? Yes. Any chance of doing a review of the Fankun? No. What was your first respective speed cube? The Shangshao Aurora. How hard is learning F2L? It's mainly all intuitive. I talked about this in the beginner to intermediate video. Really just spend time messing around with the cube. There is no final spot of learning it though. There's always more you can do. So there's not a time where you learned F2L. What do you think about D moves in F2L? I'm pretty sure you're talking about moving two layers instead of spinning the cube. It's fun to do and it works really well sometimes, but when you get really fast, it is just easy to regrip sometimes. Sticker or stickerless? I just made a video on this, and really, it's up to you. Both sticker and stickerless, you can get pretty much the same times with. I just like stickerless because I feel like I can just look ahead slightly faster. Yushin or thunderclap? You will know that very soon. What are your mains? 3x3? Three three? Might be changing. 4x4? Four four? Have no idea. The rest of them? <sighs> I'm cubing for 3 months and I'm sub 30. I'd like some tips. Check out the beginner to intermediate video. I'll put the link in the description. MU or RU U perms? RU. Backflip or front flip? Should I get a Gans 356 or 357 Ultimate? If you want something that has a light, crispy feeling, 357 is the way to go. For 356, it's really smooth and quiet. Now, between those two, I like the 357 Ultimate better. Are you a good person? I hope so. What's your record with blind solving? Do you think if you practice cubing long enough, for example, five years, you will be able to be a world-class cuber such as Felix? Years do not matter. Really, it's practice time. And yes, anyone could be a world-class cuber if you put enough time in it. Mass Square One review? Nothing planned right now. What is your favorite 3x3 three three that does not end in long? The Crazy Fisher Cube. Is Tang Long that good? No idea yet. I haven't gotten it. What is your work? I am a violin teacher and professional musician and DJ in the Detroit area. Do non-cubers judge you for being a cuber? I personally do get this where sometimes non-cubers think I'm weird or too obsessed with solving a cube, which is why I refrain from cubing in public. I refrain from cubing in public too if I think there's a lot of people around and it's going to get a lot of attention. Just got my Shangsha Mastomorphics, and it's really small. Am I the only one that thought it was bigger? I thought this when I got my first 7x7. I was surprised at how tiny it was. Mei Ying or Yu Ying? That depends on what you like. I used the Yu Ying for quite a while and it was really nice and controllable, but I think the Mei Ying is slightly better. Who do you think will break Colin Burns' world record? Someone. What do you think the Yushin 3x3? It's a cube. What's your favorite PLL? Aperm. Tanglong better than Hualong? No idea. And it's personal preference anyways. How much cubes do you have? A lot. Are you going to get the Moyu Mastomorphics? No plan at the moment. How many OLLs do you know? Well, I know over 57, so I know all the main ones and then some alternates. Mega Minx? How old are you? Well, I left high school and went to college the same year Facebook came out, when only college kids could join. Where do you get your 25k differential oil? At a hobby shop down the road. Have you ever been to a comp? I have not gotten to yet. Usually I work on the weekends. Best 5x5 on the market? Well, for a while, more you had that. But the new Yushin has been getting some good reviews. 
I'm having some difficulty getting the cross done quickly. Any helpful hints? Well, the end goal is to be able to do it all without looking at the pieces and being able to do it where you can just look at other things as well and plan for your F2L. That's hard to do all at once. So plan a couple at a time. So I can see that I can get green and orange into place by doing this. And now those two are set. And then I can get blue and red into place by doing... And now those are set. So I did two at a time, and then you can work up to four. It does take a little while, but you'll get it. What's your favorite OLL? This one. Is a 356 Ultimate worth it? There is no such thing as a 356 Ultimate, but there's a 356 Masters and the 356 Advance, as well as a 357 Ultimate. Are they worth it? Kind of. They're really nice cubes, but it depends on what you're looking for. Do you think there will ever be a real 28 by 28 Rubik's Cube? Sometime, yes. Probably. Maybe. What is the best 3x3 three three for you, the Hualong or Gans 356? Neither. I average 15 to 10 seconds with Ortega. What should I be doing to be faster besides practicing, or is practicing my best bet? Practicing is your best bet. Start looking at what certain pieces do when you do certain moves. That way you can tell where other pieces are going to be as you're solving it. Which is better, the Gans 356 or 357? It depends on what you're looking for. Should I get the Tang Long or stick with my weak old Maying? The Maying is an amazing cube. There's no reason to get another one if you think it's not as good. But if you want to collect cubes or you just want some other options, go for it. Which three do you like out of these? Mo Yu Wei Long, Mo Yu Ah Long, and Mo Yu Hua Long. I like all three. If you had a choice between becoming a famous for inventing a puzzle or becoming famous for holding a puzzle world record, which would you choose? Probably inventing. That way other people can get world records with my cube. I want to know how to break 30 seconds. Again, look at the link for the beginner to intermediate video. Do you think there will be a cube that everyone uses, like the Zanchi? I don't think so anymore. There's so many options for cubes that there's not one that just stands out way above the rest. Does this qualify as a question? Yes. Should I get the Maying, Hualong, Gans 357, 356, or Along V2? It depends on what you want. They all feel slightly different. Stop by the Speed Cube Review website to see what other people have to say and see what might fit you best. If someone offered you 100 quadrillion dollars and instead it asks for your whole entire cube collection, your YouTube channel, and you can't do cubing again in your life, will you accept it? Yeah. What's your favorite puzzle? Moyu Fisher 4x4. Have you ever tried the Moyu Wheel of Time? Nope. Would you recommend the Dian Sanchi or the Moyu Al Something V2 for a beginner that still has a Rubik's Cube? Either one would be fine. I think the Al Long is a little bit of a step up from the Zanchi though. What were your first five puzzles? The Stickered Rubik's 3x3, the Xingxiao Aurora, the Fangxi Xuan Ren, the V-Cube Pillowed 2x2, and the V-Cube Pillowed 4x4. Should I use the Yushin 3x3 with Mario Soft Springs or the Moyu Along 2 as my main? Whatever works best for you. Apples or bananas? Any thoughts on the Rue method? I've tried it, it's fun, but I'm already invested in Friedrich method. What do you think of the Thunderclap? You'll find out very soon. Will the new Tanglong be better than the Gans 356? It'll probably be just another option for cubes. Do you think the premium cubes are worth a few extra bucks? Yeah. Why do you use Lubix? You can make it yourself for 200 times cheaper. It's packaged nicely, it works really well, and it's still not that expensive. How long does it take to get sub-15? I'm sort of sub-20. You're on your way. It doesn't take that long, you just gotta work at it. What is the best Megaminx? You will find out very soon as well. What is your RA perm algorithm? I said it in the blind video. Link in the description. Do you think full OLL is very important, or is case recognition more important? Both. They both can be useful, and not that you need one to get a certain time, but why not learn them? Do you think the Tangling will be better than any other cube on the market? No. What do you think the path companies are going with making cubes? Do you think they're improving a lot better since the Guhong days? They are a lot better since then. But... They're really all just slight variations on what the Guhong was and other cubes at that time. Make a more advanced blind solving video. I would have to be a more advanced blind solver first. What made you enter the cubing community? Well, I entered it when I was first learning how to cube. If you go back to speedsolving.com, I made some very beginner posts on there about a year and a half ago. My goal with the YouTube channel and the site is to really give that content back to beginners that I felt like I needed. I average about 90 seconds. Don't give a frowny face, that's good! Should I get a Yushin 4x4 or Moyu Aosu? Depends on really what you're looking for. The Yushin is the highest rated 4x4 on the Speed Cube site, but the Aosu 
has more five-star reviews for overall ratings. And the winning comment is from Jacob, who says, What is your PB single, average of 5, and average of 12? 12, 5, and single are 14.9, 13.3, and 10.7. So he's got a $10 gift card being sent his way. I've got a couple cube giveaways coming up soon, which are going to be only U.S., just because shipping is a little ridiculous if I go outside the country. But subscribe for more in the future. I've got some videos in the works, and I will see you later. Thank you. Aperm. Oh, that's not good.